All right, everyone, welcome back to this week's episode. So today I'm going to be talking about how to legalize your existing illegal suite in Calgary under the City of Calgary's uh, Suite Amnesty Program. Uh, this program currently runs until the end of 2026, and it allows homeowners or investors with an existing illegal suite uh, to legalize their basement suite under a relaxed set of requirements. Uh, I'm going to start, start off by talking about some of the exterior kind of big picture requirements the city is going to look at. Uh, and then we'll go into the interior um, building requirements that the inspector is going to want to see. Okay. Um, starting off, let's go with the uh, start with the lot width. So this is going to apply to a detached property. Okay. Uh, if you have a detached property, the minimum lot width is nine meters. Uh, however, if you have the if you meet a minimum of seven and a half meters. Um, and, and you have a corner lot, or if you have a property with a back alley, and you can provide three or more parking spots, um, then you can still um, get away get away by um, meeting these requirements. Okay. Um, in the case of a semi-detached property, so you buy a half duplex, okay? So we're looking at a semi-detached now. This nine meter lot width requirement essentially becomes six meters, okay? So that gives you a bit more um, leeway. Uh, as far as parking requirements go, as long as you meet your lot width requirements and you can provide two parking spots, so one for your main floor and one for your basement suite, um, you should have no issues getting approved. Okay? Uh, the two things that the city is going to require essentially before you start, if you can't meet any of these requirements, you're going to go to a develop development permit, so we're going to call it a DP. Uh, so if you can't meet any of these, you're going to apply for a DP, and this would take six to eight weeks to, to complete. And once you get approval for your DP, you're going to move on to your building permit, uh, which is going to cover all the stuff that you need to do on the interior. Okay, now let's move on to the interior of things. Okay, now let's move on to the interior of the property and look at what the city is going to require to legalize your existing illegal suite. So the first things first would be your egress windows. So the openable area of your window has to be at least 0.35 square meters with no dimension less than 38 centimeters. So that's roughly 15 inches um, minimum dimension on either side. Okay. Um, you do also do require a 30 inch window well projection, uh, especially if your window is below grade. So if you have an older style window that's egress, however, it's done a while back, your window well might not be up to code today. So just keep that in mind. Okay. Uh, the next thing would be your interconnected smoke and carbon monoxide alarms. Uh, so the city does require that the smoke alarms are hardwired between each unit and that they are interconnected. Okay. Uh, so that when it goes off in one unit, it also um, sounds the alarm in the other unit. And they do require these in specific places, such as the mechanical room. Along with, and if you, have, if you have a shared hallway or a stairwell, uh, they do require a, a smoke detector there as well. And there are a few other spots. Um, typically, your electrician should be able to guide you on where these would go to meet the current code. Okay? Um, the next one would be drywalling your walls and ceiling. Often when we walk into an illegal suite, we do see that, especially in older properties, sometimes there's wood paneling on the walls and ceilings, or there's some sort of shiplap thing going on. Um, if there's no drywall behind these, uh, you would have to drywall all your walls and ceiling. And this does include the mechanical room as well, and, which is often an area that is not drywalled in most of the properties that we see. Um, so do factor that into your uh, budget as well. You do have to drywall those spaces. Okay. Um, the next one would be a protected entrance or exit. So if you have a property where you have a separate entrance for your basement suite, so call it you have a rear entrance that's kind of dug out, uh, or you have a side entry, and you do have a window above that um, entry exit way, you do, ha you do have to provide some sort of a cantilever structure or like a, a protected, protected way to exit the suite in the event that there's a fire and the, the glass above the exit ends up breaking. Um, so yeah, these are kind of the main things that the city is going to be looking for. Um, these are fairly straightforward for the most part, and if you need any assistance, feel free to reach out to us.